Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'll be giving you Bruce Willis's top 10 best movies. He's an excellent actor, although he has a reputation of being difficult to work with, but still one of the most bankable movie stars in film history. So sit back, relax, and let the show begin. Number 10 is Color of Night. Released in 1994 and directed by Richard Rush, this is a great 90s hidden gem. Willis plays a psychologist, and when one of his patients commits suicide in front of him, he takes some time off and visits a friend played by Scott Bakula, who's also a psychologist. One night after a group session, Bakula is murdered by one of the group members. After his death, Willis takes over the group. It's got an excellent cast, including Lance Henriksen and Brad Dourif. I love the look of the film and the filming locations. It's got a decent twist ending, too. This is a fun thriller that I watch at least once a year. Number 9 is Sin City. Released in 2005 and directed by Robert Rodriguez, Sin City also made my Mickey Rourke top 10 list. I also said that Rourke is the best part of the film, but Willis isn't too far behind. His performance as an old beaten down cop is fantastic, and the film is visually stunning. The main issue for me is Clive Owen and his segment in the film. It's just so long and boring. I'm not a fan of Clive Owen at all, and don't expect a top 10 list for him anytime soon. Outside of that, this film is great with an A-list cast, and Bruce Willis is excellent in this film. Number 8 is Look Who's Talking. Released in 1989 and directed by Amy Heckerling, who also directed another favorite of mine, Fast Times at Ridgemount High. Look Who's Talking was a massive hit. It's such an enjoyable comedy with a fun cast of John Travolta, Kirstie Alley, and Bruce Willis, and a voice-only role as Mikey the Baby. He's hilarious narrating the thoughts of Mikey. Kirstie Alley plays the mom, and Travolta plays the cabbie who rushes her to the hospital. It's a hilarious scene. This was also a big hit for Travolta, too, after a bunch of box office flops throughout the 80s. There was a sequel in 1990 where all three returned. It's not as good, but I still find it a fun comedy. And I'd like to give a, just a quick honorary mention to another Willis voice role in Beavis and Butthead to America. It's another fun film that didn't make the list. Number 7 is Death Becomes Her. Released in 1992 and directed by Robert Zemeckis. I love this film so much. Willis plays a surgeon who leaves his wife, played by Goldie Hawn, for her friend Meryl Streep. Goldie Hawn loses it and eats her emotions. But some time goes by and Goldie Hawn is looking better than ever. Now Meryl Streep is the one that has to worry. She's so focused on her appearance that Streep ends up trying a youth potion. It's just such a fun dark fantasy comedy with some pretty cool effects and a great story. And I also love the mansion location. It's an excellent early 90s film. Number 6 is Die Hard 2. Released in 1990 and directed by Rennie Harlan, this is such a great sequel. It's one of my go-to Christmas movies. It's got a bunch of notable co-stars as well, including William Sadler and Robert Patrick, among many others. Willis just always finds himself in the most bizarre situations. I love the airport setting and the blizzard-type atmosphere. It's got some great action sequences and fight scenes as well. There's one where he stabs a guy with an icicle. Ugh, oh, you gotta love 90s action movies. Number 5 is The Sixth Sense. Released in 1999 and directed by M. Night Shyamalan, this was a monster hit. Everyone was talking about it when it came out. It was unbelievable when I first saw it. The only thing that hurts the film nowadays is when you rewatch it knowing the outcome. And there's a few scenes, one in particular, where Willis is sitting with Tony Collette waiting for Haley Joel Osment to come home. She should know something's wrong, she's not even looking at him or talking to him. But they try to enforce the idea that the dead don't know they're dead, and that they only see what they want to see. So that kind of explains it. I love the cast. Khaled and Osment are excellent alongside Willis, and even Donnie Wahlberg has a fantastic scene at the beginning. This film is amazing for first-time viewers, and it's very good the second time around. Another thing that hurts this film, though, is that I see dead people parody done in the scary movies, but still a great film. Number four is 12 Monkeys. Released in 1995 and directed by Terry Gilliam, this was another big hit. Although people seem to be split on whether they like it or not, but I love it. When a deadly virus is released and wipes out most of the population, Bruce Willis is sent back to try and locate who released the virus and when. It's got an awesome cast. I love Willis and Brad Pitt's scenes in the mental hospital. I also love the bizarre visuals and dark dystopian atmosphere. This is a great 90s sci-fi flick. Number three is Unbreakable. Released in 2000, directed by M. Night Shyamalan, this is my favorite film of his. Bruce Willis survives a deadly train accident without a scratch, and Samuel L. Jackson tracks him down after the incident and tries to convince him he's a superhero. 
He's got an unbelievable cast and a great story, and it's filmed beautifully. I love the scene where Willis is doing some bench presses while his son keeps adding more weight. He continues to lift it with ease. Such a great scene, and it's a very underrated film. Number two is Die Hard. Released in 1988 and directed by John McTiernan, this was a surprise hit that kickstarted Bruce Willis's career. Although it was first offered to Schwarzenegger, because John McTiernan had previously worked with him on Predator, after he passed, it was offered to Stallone, who also passed, giving Bruce Willis his career. Die Hard is an excellent action flick. Bruce Willis in his most iconic role as John McClane is perfect. I love the Nakatomi Plaza locations. It's definitely one of the best 80s action films. And I do enjoy part three as well. That's where it ends for me. Number one is Pulp Fiction. Released in 1994 and directed by Quentin Tarantino, Pulp Fiction is my favorite Tarantino film of all time. It's a masterpiece. There's a huge fantastic cast and Willis is excellent. He plays a boxer who's supposed to throw a fight, but when he wins, Vig Rames wants him dead. The scene where he hits him with the car all the way to the pawn shop scene are so entertaining. It's just such a random out of the blue situation that Willis and Rames find themselves in. It's just so awesome. This film is a game changer. And out of all the great films that Willis has been in, Pulp Fiction is number one. Anyways, so that's the list, guys. I know I left a couple off that people may be surprised, most notably Armageddon and The Fifth Element. But not a huge fan of those films, never was. Saw them in theaters when I was a kid, just not for me. So that's the whole list for me. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. I don't wanna take it anymore. I just can't hear my behind the door. Just no time to stop and get away. Cause I work so hard to make it every day. Man, that ain't me, I'm from Buffalo.